announcement. It's time to prep for the Easter Parade! For those of you who live in New York City, maybe you already know about the Easter Parade that goes along Fifth Avenue. Have you heard that song, On the Avenue, Fifth Avenue? It's actually a real thing. The Easter Parade is real. It still happens every year on Fifth Avenue. It's usually sort of around St. Patrick's Cathedral, if you know that area. It's like in the 50s. So it's like rock center on up. The parade lasts all day and it's a parade because people in New York City come and walk on the avenue. So it's closed off to cars and people come and mill about. That's all there is to it. You just come to see or be seen. So this year I'm going to the Easter parade. I haven't been in a few years. The last time I went I wore this hat and I just decorated it with a giant flower and I wore this vintage dress of the same color. And my daughters and I walked the parade. I think my husband was there. Sometimes he's there, sometimes he isn't. And we walked the parade route and we had our picture taken. So we took some, some video too and I'm actually gonna link to that video down below. And I'm gonna show you a, a little bit of the footage here so that you get a feel for the parade and how it works. to know we just got here so oh. thanks for the report and I see you every year this is video oh. how many pictures have you gotten today it's hard to say because when you stop like 50 people come around yeah and it's like paparazzi beautiful Easter bonnets and it's this thing so people make these gorgeous bonnets out of all kinds of materials like the creativity and the color and the size is just limited to your imagination so it's February 15th you have eight weeks to figure this out if you're local or live in the vicinity and want to come to the Easter parade with me, I'm going on Easter. I will be there in the morning, most likely probably around 9 or 10. I will definitely give you all of the details in the Ravelry meetup. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there with an Easter bonnet. I'm going to be wearing a bright color and I want you to join me. So I was thinking that if we make this a tradition, because this is the first time I'm trying this, that we would choose a theme or a color or an animal or something each year. And this year, 
I'm thinking about having the animal be a chick. Okay, so it's the year of the rooster. It's the Chinese year of the rooster. And I'm just feeling yellow and I'm feeling the Pantone green. That's a little bit similar to this green actually. It's a little, it's it's not quite this apple-y, but it's it's kind of it's kind of in the category of the green in my dress, actually. So I'm thinking of Pantone green, I'm thinking of chicks, and I think that should be the theme. So I'll come up with a little mood board and I'll put it on my Ravelry group if you're interested in joining me in this challenge. Now, there are some sources out there. Like you can use any hat that you have. This hat, I believe, came from Hats, Hat Accessory, which is on 38th Street in Manhattan. It was probably under $30. They have all kinds of hats, all kinds of shapes and colors for I feel like that's a pretty reasonable price, around you know, $15, $20 price point range. And this hat is not very decorated, but my challenge is to you is to decorate it using fiber, using your skills of crochet, of knit. Think about amigurumi, think about motifs, mm -hmm. think about yarn bombing, you know, wrapping, wrapping the hat, whatever. And it would be even cooler if you could make the hat solely from yarn and didn't even use a base. So the sky is the limit. Be creative. We are going to march together with our Easter bonnet finery, with everything we've made using the fiber arts. And if you want to go crazy and actually make your whole outfit out of yarn, my hat's off to you. Get you see what I did there? My hat's off to you. You can go for that too. I think I will most likely be wearing something bright colored, possibly vintage, um, maybe not necessarily like a 50 silhouette, but something that's not maybe solely 2017. Like this dress is is vintage, it's like a 60s dress. This would actually be a great choice for the Easter parade. Maybe I'll just wear this, we'll see. So comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Let's talk about it. Between now and April 15th, the next eight weeks, I wanna have a meetup so that we can share our projects and see how we're doing, check in with each other. And maybe it will help inform each other's hats or outfits so that we have some cohesion besides Year of the Chick. And we will definitely be speaking about all the details more on the Ravelry group. So look for a post there about the Easter Bonnet project. And I'm just, I'm really excited about this. If it's just Olive and me, if it's just my daughter and me, that's totally cool. But I wanted to open up to my fiber community because I think that it could really be something special. If you are interested in this adventure, please, please, please join me. Okay, that's it. That's my Easter announcement. Carry on, back to it, back to your knitting, back to your life, and we'll do more offline, okay? All right, thanks for checking in to Christy Glass Nights Easter. Oh, and by the way, if you're not local and you don't want to join us parading about Fifth Avenue on Easter Sunday, you can still make an Easter bonnet, Year of the Chick. You can still do it. Everyone can do it, and I totally want to see it. So I'll, you know me, I'll figure out the hashtag, I'll figure out how we share, and we will build this community together Easter style. All right, see ya, bye.